Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today we are going to be working on project number two from the Seaside Collection. It is going to look something like this. And first we're going to start out with the stamping because that's what it says to do on the instructions. And this is a stamp that comes with the collection. I will have it linked down below. Now it does say to take one of the sponges and ink the edges. I love inking edges. I usually use one of these, but since I bought this, I have been using it. I did, um, let's see, I did a couple bears from the, that I lost. Sorry, I did a couple bears <laughs> from the, is that July stamp set? I think this is the July stamp set. And so I did a couple of these bears and like this one I sponged. It's so cute. So I'm going to make some cards with these. I do need to make some thank you cards. So I started playing with these a little bit. Anyways, that's when I used this sponge the first time. So this one is saying to do the edges, which I've never used a sponge per se on the edge. I've used, like I said, these. So this does seem to give it a little bit of a different look in that the sponge comes over the edge and gives a little more color onto the paper. So that's kind of neat. So it said to sponge the edges and then we're gonna start stamping. Let me turn this off and finish sponging the edges like this. Okay? Okay, I'm back. I really, really like the effect of this sponged edge. It's really pretty cool. So then we're gonna use the sailboat stamp, which I already mounted on a block. This is the only block I have left to get from close to my heart. I love their blocks are so nice. Um, I, I don't have the five by six, I think it is, or is it a five by four? I don't know. I don't have that one yet, which is what this would fit on. So I, I need to get it. Like I said in a previous video, I can't get everything all at once. I'm like addicted to everything they have. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. This is the first time I will have used this stamp. So I am going to go ahead and stamp it on some copy paper that we used in the last project. I'm going to stamp it on here. I don't know if I got it all stamped or not. It looks like I did, but... Yeah, I'm missing a big portion right there. I don't know. Okay. Let's try that again. Maybe I might want to get out my stamper thingy. Let's see what happens. You can hear things shaking on my desk when I do this. Um, I've said this before. I am not the best stamper. I've recently started stamping. I've had stamps for several years and I've done like bloop, 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 little hearts or whatever here and there. But as far as these really nice stamps, not so much. Let's see if this one will come out any better. We'll make sure we push it down in that center spot. Yeah, that came out better. The only thing is you can see I need to wipe my block off because I got stamp on it or ink on it. So before I stamp it on here, I'm going to ink it up and then make sure I wipe it off. I do have some little wet wipes here. These wet wipes, they're um, a Publix brand and they're not all that wet. They're kind of just semi. They're not really very wet at all. So Okay, we're going to go ahead and do it on the French vanilla cardstock. This French vanilla cardstock is so nice. I'm like, oh my God. So I go online to see if I can get me some, right, for my stash. 
and I couldn't find it. So I went over to the consultant's side where I could, you know, look at information and tips, and, you know, things like that that you can do if, when you have, when you're a consultant, you get access to other stuff. If anybody wants to be a consultant, you can click on my link and go to the consultant tab. I know they're going to be having a special in August. It's like a $35 special. You just don't get like a kit. You just get to become a consultant. Anyway, um, apparently this French vanilla is going to be new in the, for the next year. So it starts, you can start buying it in September. So I'm really excited about that because this is nice. This, like I said, is like the back side of that rooster paper I have that I would use. It is so nice. Love it. So then I won't have to use <laughs> the back side of a pattern paper to get this gorgeous color and fill. Okay, so this is going to go like right about here. And then I put it down. Make sure I push it down everywhere. Like this. That's nice. That came out pretty good. That came out pretty good. Okay. And so then we're going to stamp on some of these clouds. Again, this is a stamp I haven't used yet. So we're going to stamp on this cloud and then we get to use the sponge to sponge in the color. So that would be pretty fun. I don't know if I need, this is kind of a smaller stamp. I don't know if I need that pad for it or not. When you become a consultant, you do this thing that's called straight to the top. And I earned all levels, level one, level two, and level three. And then level three, I got to get one of their, like a, one of these pat mats, but is it just a 12 by 12? But the opposite side of it is kind of foamy. So I think that'd be great for stamping. Okay, it didn't come out really great on the bottom. So I am going to try and see what happens if I put the stamp on the pad. And again, guys, this is less reflection of the quality of the stamps because they're really good quality. Out of all the, qual all the stamps I have, I can stamp best with theirs. It more has to do with me. So we'll go ahead and try this again. Oh yeah, that one came out way better. The bottom of the clouds, they're like little lines, like they're um, almost like stitched or something. They're really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp a couple of those on there. A couple of these um, clouds that are like in the photo. One of them's hanging off the edge, or in the example. One of them's hanging off the edge so I'm going to stick this paper behind it just so I won't get my thing dirty. Look, dang it. I had, um, I might have to cover that up somehow. I had some ink on the edge that I didn't notice. Dang it. Maybe I could put the other cloud down here. Because the other cloud is supposed to go like above it, but I can I can put it down lower. I forgot to wipe my block off. Again, that's a reflection of me, not of the quality of the stamps. So if you're a bit of a ding dong and you don't think you can stamp, you can. Because I can. And I am 100% a bit of a ding dong. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this right there. Go ahead and stick it down. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Look, I have almost covered it up. I think when I get to do the sponging, you won't even be able to tell. So then we need to put some over here as well. In the center of here, some of the pictures are going to go. So I'm going to stamp a few more clouds over here. Well, first, here, let me show you. This is what I'm going to do with the sponge. I'll show you this part and then I'm going to go away and do it over here. 
I'm just gonna take this sponge and kind of tap it and rub it into this pad. And I'm just gonna kind of go boop, 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 boop and bounce it up and down on this little cloud just to give it a, a little bit of color on the inside. Oh yeah, that's really cute. That looks good. So we're using the same ink. This is the Glacier ink. And we're just gonna bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Like that. Not worry too much about staying within the lines of the clouds because um, getting outside the lines, that's gonna make it look a little wistful. So that's gonna be nice. Yeah, that's really cute. Yeah, I like it. Okay, let me let me show it to you. Can you see it? It's really cute. Okay, so I'm going to go and do the portions over on this side. Okay, guys, so this turned out so stinking cute. I love it. All right, I'm not really going to follow the steps necessarily in order because my photos are a little different sized than the mats they had us cut. So I'm going to go ahead and put my pictures down and then cut the mats to fit my photo size. This is going to be our background paper that we use right here. And this is going to go across here like that. And then above it is going to be this zip strip that is the fence. Super cute. And then above that is going to be this quarter inch strip of blue. Now down here, we're going to go ahead and stick this down. Like that. And then across here, it's going to call for this strip right here on the sticker sheet. We'll do that in a minute. I'm going to go away and put this down just like this. I might move it up just a smidge. Put this down just like this and then map my photos is what I'm going to go away and do. Okay. And so then I'll be right back. This is so cute. I love this. I think this would be great a great card technique. And in fact, in this kit, there are six different cards. I don't know if that's a technique you use for them or not, because I haven't jumped ahead. I haven't used them, but if it's not, I will definitely keep this in the back of my mind for later. I think this is so cute. Even just this right here. What a cute card. And you could put a, pop a sentiment up on like something right there. Oh. So cute. Yes. I like it. Okay, I'm going to put this down and I will come right back. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. So I put this down and then I matted my photos. Now, this did call for this st sticker strip right here from the sticker sheet to go across Go in the center, yeah, go across the center of this, this piece right here. Now when I was putting down my papers, I somehow managed to wrinkle them a little bit. Ha, huh, if you can believe that, sure did. So I'm gonna put this photo like right here, kind of tilt it a little bit. And I'm gonna put this one right here over it like that. So this photo is a little bit of a different size from what the instructions are, but you don't have to follow the instructions exactly. I know I have been lately just because I've been enjoying them so much, but you certainly do not have to. You can get the pattern papers just because they're, you know, super pretty and use them however you want. You do not have to follow the directions. This one I think I'm going to be popping up on foam tape. Now I do have some foam tape right here. 
This is a Scotch brand foam tape. Um, I get off Amazon in a giant roll. In fact, I need to order more. I said last time I was going to do it and I didn't end up doing it. So that's what this foam tape is. We're going to use it. Now on the instructions or even looking at the photo right here, this kit had came, had come with some like some gems and they have like gold flecks in them. This layout did not call for any of those, but I think I am going to want some of those kind of finishing touches. So I did pull out some bronze sequins that I got from close to my heart off of clearance. And then I also got these brown and tan gems, maybe last year or the year before. So I'm going to use one of those ones to put down as finishing touches on this layout. Just because I like that kind of thing. And again, this the instructions don't call for it, but that doesn't mean that you can't change it to suit your needs or your tastes or your style. So I, like I said, I have been sticking very closely to what they say, just because I'm getting the hang of it and I really enjoy following the instructions. It's like, you know, don't have to use your brain. You can just kind of do it. I like that kind of stuff. I also like to just go and do free form, you know, and do whatever I want. But there is something to be said about following instructions. That doesn't look like it's completely straight. And I'm just going to have to be okay with it. So on this one, the title is going to be right here. It says, Take Me Away. And I think that I'm going to put this on foam tape as well. This foam tape you can actually rip, but I don't know why. I just take the time to um, cut it. I had a video where I was doing that and someone was like, you know you can just rip it. Well, yeah, I know. You know. So I'm going to stick it like right here. I'm going to stick it in just a smidge. Right like that. And then we have like this anchor sticker. That goes over here. Now this is a half a photo of my face and then there's Jim. So... I don't super want to cover up my face, so maybe I will stick the anchor right around in this area. And again, because it's going to kind of be touching this photo that's popped up, I'm going to have to pop this up as well. Now, this is not heavily embellished, and I haven't went back and looked at the other um, things that we are going to make with this, so I am not 100% sure what all I can use out of the sticker sheet that is not um, scheduled or set to be used on another project. So I'm really going to try and stick pretty close to it because like I said we do have this we have one more 12 by 12 layout and then we have a six cards I did get this really cute stamp set right here it's a stamp and die set with seashells I haven't done any of them yet but maybe I can put some of those on some future projects I'm not going to stamp and die cut them tonight though So we'll go ahead and use this anchor. Right over in this area if I can get all these things. Now I told you before that I had been
bit all my nails off when I was waiting for my dog to get out of surgery. She did end up passing away. Um, that was on a Friday. She ended up passing away on Saturday night, late at, you know, during the night, Saturday night, Sunday morning. So, uh, that sucked, but that's why my nails are like this. And that's why it's hard for me to get this paper off. It's cause I done chewed them all being a nervous dog mom which clearly I obviously had reason to be because she's not with us anymore. My poor baby. See, this whole part of this picture is just sand. So that's pretty cute going over the sand part. Okay, so then we can use this one. We'll put it like right, right along the side, like right here. Might need just a tiny bit of tape where it's hanging over the edge of that. This right along here. And then they also use the green star. Now, I could put the green star in the original. The stuff is over here. But this is green, so I'm going to go ahead and stick the green star somewhere over here. I'm not sure where. Down here, it can, will completely blend in. So perhaps I want to put it up here on this photo. Like that. Now this side is completely blank, but that's okay because this is where I can do my journaling. So uh, I don't know what my journaling is going to be, but I can draw some lines. Or the journaling. So we'll go like this. So that's where my journaling is gonna go. And then I'm gonna take out I don't know if I wanna which gems, if I wanna use the gems or the sequins. I will probably use the gems. Just because I super like this champagne color that I have on here. Um, I don't have any teeny tiny ones of the champagne left, but I have some some medium and large left. So those might be nice to put down. I don't know if I like that right by my face. It's kind of creepy. I'm gonna put it right there. It's pretty large, right? I mean, it's huge. But I don't have any smaller ones of those. I just have the large ones. Maybe I'll kind of stick one underneath. Nope, I don't like that. Maybe I can poke it out. Well, I don't want it poking out on my face, so no. All right, I guess that's the only ones I'm gonna do. Cause I just don't want them poking out over all over my face. Okay, so when I do my journaling right here, I'm gonna do it in brown ink. Um, yeah, I think this is all I'm gonna do. This is cute. Cute, cute, cute. Maybe I should do one of these clouds cut it out and put it somewhere else but clouds at the bottom is not right I think this is all I'm gonna do it's pretty cute it looks a lot like the photo it, or in the thing there is they did use the twine which I did not do which I reckon I could or maybe even should because it's there for that reason right See, the problem I have with this is, look at this French vanilla. It's French vanilla. And this is white with bronze. It's so, I mean, is it too stark, the white on there? I don't know, it might be. I do have some cream colored crochet thread that works, you know, it could work in the same manner like that. And that would be cute. We can go ahead and just cut this big one. 
something like here. And then we can take a smaller piece like this and like tie it around here. Here's my big piece. Here's my smaller piece. You can tie it on here. Like this. I doubled it up so there's four. Well, two on each side. And we can stick it down like that. And that's cute. Just like it off so yeah that's cute we'll just um, run it underneath here that bit of liquid adhesive right on the seam. Lay it down. Like that. And then on the back side I will put washi tape. think we should do splatters I mean this is pretty plain I do have the Heidi swap color shine in tea or maybe we can do I'm just gonna put glue back here and put it down on the glue and then take some washi tape and put it over it like that Put the glue down, put the crochet thread through the glue, and also use washi tape. This is a bicycle washi tape that I'm probably not going to use on a layout. Um, I kind of think maybe I might want to do some splattery bits. I have the Heidi Swap color shine in gold somewhere, but then also we did use this toffee, so we can just, you think it'll work well if we smush down our lid and use a water brush? I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if that's going to work good or not. Nothing's coming off. Um, yeah, that's, that's just not enough ink. Even this big old Maybe one. It's just not giving me enough. Um, I can use my craft mat. See what happens then. I can't even see where the ink went down. There it is. Okay, because it's very, um, I don't have a whole lot of liquid, so the splatters are super duper fine. So you can barely see them, they're super fine. I mean, it's not 
awful. Mm. That didn't add much. All right, guys, I'm going to be done with this one. Let me show you what it looks like. Bam. That's cute, right? Look at that stampy. Oh, I did so good. <laughs> so good. I need to put my journaling right here, and then maybe I might come back and stick a couple more of those gems. But now I only have these large gems left, so we'll see. Some might go up in that area after I do my journaling. I got to see how it balances out with the journaling actually on there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to pick this collection up for yourself, I will have the links down below or the link down below. And I will see you next time. We do have project number three coming up and then we have six cards. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.